Not Jake Dumbledore, what's happened? He's back. He's back. You're on us. What's up guys, what's going on? Boris from Trigov here and welcome to this new video. As you can see, sadly, I'm not in Norway anymore. I had to go back and I'm here in my old shitty studio. studio. So guys, I'm currently back here in Italy. If you're new to the channel, I'm not Italian, I'm Croatian. I live here in Italy for a long time and uh, I was planning to go and live in Norway already last year. But uh, long, short story, I had to have a surgery. There was COVID in the middle, farting myself from a job. Then my surgery didn't last how it's supposed to do. So I have to get another surgery right now. So that's the reason why I'm not already in Norway. As you could see from my uh, last videos, I'm in relationship also with a Norwegian girl. I'm filming you now. Fuck you. We didn't see each other for six almost seven months because of the restrictions to travel and uh, so I stayed one month and more this time in her house and I learned a lot of stuff about Norway and the regions that I want to share with you with some good news about the channel also so let me say immediately if you're a fan of my black metal vlogs stay tuned because uh, it's not over I will do more in the future because you motivate me I didn't expect all those views when I post the first video out I was praying satan please let me have at least 1000 views and some videos got 80,000 views and no less than 25k so i was like whoa people really like it i loved your comments all your support so i was like i have to do more people ask me for uh, to film dead grave portun and uh, john from the section lg Peter from Entomb. they was like yes i have to do that i enjoy see uh, all your comments or your passion for it so I was like I definitely have to do that now with the restrictions and stuff like that I can do that and I'll actually because I don't have money to do that so I have to save a lot of money now but next year definitely in the summer we want to do some festivals and then go in Sweden and film a lot of places in Sweden and also film all those uh, let's say historical black metal graves at this point if you're following me for my reactions for my cover don't worry i will do that too i will uh, do a lot actually because i love to do reactions i love to get suggestions from, from you guys i love to see uh, your comments even if you making fun of me of my pronunciation that's a real beer <laughs> yeah but by the way there will be a lot of reaction there will be a lot of covers but instead of doing a normal cover because covers are boring let, let me be honest who watched the entire cover nobody anymore if i'm going to my youtube analytics i see that people watch maybe 30 seconds if i'm lucky and then the line is going really down so i will do covers but and personal music but i want to do something like a small vlogs around to show you when I start from home and I'm going to places to record what I bring with me, what I'm doing in the middle, after, etc. So I hope uh, that you will enjoy more uh, watching those videos. Also, another news from September, I will not be too much active on YouTube because I have to finish my new album for my band Trigov. So it will require a little bit of time. And uh, yeah, I will still do videos, but a little bit less than now because I need to work on it and finish it finally about norway let me say a couple of things that you people always asked one of the most questions that i read is is true that the norwegian people the majority of norwegian people listen black metal and metal 70 percent in norway listen metal, right? metal you think 70 percent of people 70, in norway yes of course no it's not true norway it's like every other country when you go into other country like as tourists, you don't see a lot of metalheads. And Norway is not an exception. Of course, I see some metalheads and stuff like that around, but it's not. It's it's the same 
as if I'm going in Milan, in Barcelona, in Berlin, you see some metal heads, but the majority of course is normal people. What is different is the respect that you see from those people uh, when they look at you. Nobody uh, smile at you in a bad way, like, oh, look at metal head, long hair, he's so ridiculous. That's something that here, for example, happens for a lot, a lot of times. There, you see people that look at you with, with a respect, actually. They don't care if you have a pentagram or an inverted cross or how you dress, nobody give a shit. They look at you like a normal person. Let's say that they are really open-minded about that in general. So you can see actually normal people knowing a lot about metal and black metal. For example, the mother of my uh, girlfriend, we were uh, having a dinner once and she started to talk about Vark, you know, how the stuff that happens, stuff like that, that was like, whoa. And when we came back from uh, Bergen, that was so funny. She asked me, how was to meet Gal? I was like, whoa. You know, guys, whoa, imagine you're going to your girlfriend in your country and the mother of your girlfriend say, oh, how, how was uh, the festival yesterday with Mayhem? You know, you're like, what? You know, you don't expect it. And there is so normal, you know, and I love that, that they are so open-minded with music and everything, you know? I mean, we are talking of a country that have Mayhem winning a Grammy, an Norwegian Grammy, so, I mean, what we are talking about? Have you ever seen that in another country? One of the things that I really loved to the most is the respect that those people have for nature. We travel for seven hours straight to South Norway, to the north, to Gontronien, and there wasn't single trash on the road. Everything was freaking clear. The nature there is amazing. I swim in the river. I swim in the lakes, I swim everywhere was, there was water and it was possible to swim. There wasn't a single garbage of waste to the ground. That was something crazy that I really loved. You all say, oh my god, Norway is so beautiful. Norway is beautiful because Norwegian keep it beautiful. I mean, that's something that you can do, that we all can do in our country, right? But nobody do. So for example, here, how much times I'm pissed off that uh, every time I'm going to the river, there's people left in bottles, the people left in plastic, chewing gum, cigarettes, filters, and I hate that, hate so much, something that you can see there. That's why I'm saying that they mentally and technologically or whatever you want to say, there are 10 years in the future. Every country is beautiful if we first ourselves keep it clean and beautiful and we don't destroy the nature of that country. More trees and less cities. About black metal, something is true. If you are a fan of black metal, that's a magical place. You can see a lot of black metal stuff. For example, uh, gir the girlfriend of my friend, she's from Poland and she said, I went to my boyfriend's house and I was just walking, you know, I take a walk and there was uh, a knicker butcher going with his bicycle, you know? So, I mean, seems unreal, you know, but uh, you see all those uh, famous musicians around, like a seagull, without any problems, because, yeah, Norway is big, but everyone is kind of close, you know, to each other city, and it's not so far to go to a place, to another. So, yeah, if you like black metal, definitely it's a country that you have to visit. Absolutely. My lovely Norwegian girlfriend, are on YouTube too now. She decided to open her own YouTube channel, so I'm not sure what she will do on this channel. Probably a lot of things. So if you liked her in my videos and want, you want to follow her too, I will leave the link to her channel in the description down below. Saying that guys, this is all for this video. I want to thank you all again for your support. I'm sorry that uh, I wasn't able to put uh, more interesting videos out right now. I will do my best. Thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. This is a result that I will never expect to achieve. Really, it's something that is still can't believe. Really, thank you so much. If you're new and you enjoy my videos, please remember to subscribe and leave a comment. It's important for the channel. I always say that, but uh, it works actually. So again, thank you so much to all. Thank you to my patrons. And uh, as always, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.
されたの。